7 Tricks of the Internet Business Trade Anyone can make a living online. There are no secret formulas, hidden tricks or single method that will instantly make you wealthy. There are guidelines that show you what to do, mentors who hold your hand and systems that point you in the right direction. But none of this matters if the most important part of your business isn't properly prepared. You, you are the key ingredient to your business's success or failure. What you do on a daily basis will make or break your business. Whether you're an affiliate promoting someone else's product or you're promoting your own, you are 100% responsible for developing your income. I've spoken to multitudes of people online who've spent a lot of money on a lot of programs and haven't made a dime. If you're one of these people, follow along and see if you can identify yourself. You're not alone. I've been in all of these situations, as have thousands and thousands of other people. Don't give up, find what's broken and fix it. Since the majority of marketers online are involved in an affiliate program or 10, we'll look at business through the eyes of an affiliate. Point one, focus pick one business and focus on it. Choose a business that excites you. If you're a health nut, pick a health related business. I'm a marketing nut, so my business focuses on marketing. You have to choose a business that you enjoy. The important point in your online career is not when you get into the business, it's when the business gets into you. You live, eat and breath your business. It's critical that you love what you're doing. If you don't, you easily lose your focus and fail by and use the products and services that you're promoting. If you're an affiliate of a natural food product, buy the product, eat it, drink it, and see what it does for you. Then you can recommend the product to others, because you know exactly what it does, you know how it makes you feel, and you can recommend it to people based on your experience. Your testimonial is one of the strongest sales tools you can implement. If you are a walking talking testimonial about the product or service you're representing, you'll sell a lot more. Honest testimonials include the positive and negative aspects of the products. By presenting a balanced review, you develop a higher level of credibility with your reader and sell product at the same time. Okay, we got a little off track there, we're talking about focus, this is really hard to do. The grass always looks greener on the other side of the fence. Other business opportunities and affiliate programs seem to look easier and promise a faster way to make money. Don't be fooled, there is no easy money. Focus on one product or service until you are generating an automated income stream from your promotions, and then you can add another product and follow the same process. Point to action. This is where it all falls apart for a lot of people. They've read the sales page, which got them excited, bought the ebook, which made them feel empowered, read the information, which made them feel like they could actually do it, then. Nothing, this is one of the key steps, and it's where most people fail online. We say you're an affiliate. Offline, you are the marketing manager of your company. Your only job is to generate an interest in the product or service that you're promoting. You don't have to worry about updating a website, creating a pay plan, writing checks, or providing customer service. You simply send traffic to the business you are promoting, action makes you responsible and generates an income. Point three, responsibility, you are responsible for making your own income. If you've joined a matrix program in the hopes that your upline will be a superstar and you're going to get rich from the spillover, think again. Maybe you'll get lucky and it will happen. Maybe you'll win the lottery. You need to take responsibility for the success of your company. You own a marketing company that has the power to drive traffic to other people's websites and share in the profit. That's what being an affiliate is all about. You are in business for yourself but not by yourself, your responsibility is to market, market, market. Point four, marketing, everything works, as long as your expectations are in line with your activity. Here's a couple of examples, classified ads, this is a marketing two-step. Because classified ads are so small, there's no room to cram in all the benefits of your product. The best you can do with a classified ad is offer your prospects a free report, information kit, CD, or whatever, in exchange for their contact details, this allows your prospects to raise their hands and say, yes, I'm interested in what you have to offer. You are able to start collecting names and contact information of people who are interested in herbal medicine, 
internet marketing, losing weight, or whatever you're offering, you can collect these people's contact information in a variety of ways. I offer a 24-hour recorded message they can listen to and leave their contact details after the message is complete. I ask them to fax their details to you three. Ask them to send you a postcard with their details or a letter of Send them to a website to fill out a form that's the first step in classified advertising, collecting your prospects' information. The second step is sending them your sales literature. If your sales material is good, sales will start rolling in, postcards. This method of marketing works in a similar fashion to classified advertising except you have enough space to sell your product directly. You purchase a list of prospects from a direct mail list broker and send them your postcard with your sales message on it, a very effective way to cut down the sales time between sending out your postcard and actually receiving the order is to send your prospects to your website where they can make their purchase online. You get orders the day your prospects receive their postcards. The reason I mentioned offline marketing before online marketing is, it's very effective. The response rate you generate from a well-planned direct mail campaign generally outpulls an email marketing campaign, but direct mail is expensive. Online is free or very low cost. Here's a couple online ideas for you. Point 5. Email marketing. The most cost-effective way to market online is to develop your own list of prospects and send them email messages regularly. From a cost and time perspective this marketing method takes the cake. The downfall of email marketing is everyone's inbox is so full of spam, your message is easily lost. To get your email opened and read, you need a catchy subject line. To make the sale, you need a short, concise message full of benefits and a compelling reason for them to purchase right now. Not later today, right now. Point six Forum marketing Another free form of marketing is using forums. This type of marketing takes time, but is very effective. When you ask a question or post an answer at a forum, you get a signature line under your post, kind of like an email signature file. Although you cannot advertise directly in your posts at the forums, your signature file will do your advertising for you. Your signature file is like a mini classified ad. Use a compelling statement and your website URL.7 error pages. This one is really fast and easy to set up. Your website serves up error pages to your visitors if they enter the wrong website URL. For example, if your visitor enters http colon slash slash www.yourwebsite.com slash page 1.html, but there is no such page, they'll get an error page that says something like, you've requested a page that no longer exists or has been moved, blah blah blah. But you can change those pages. Log into your control panel and change those pages into advertising pages. Once you have a marketing system that is generating the kind of income that you want from your business, add a second business to your system. I s this contradicting what I just said about focus? No. Now your focus will be directed to making your second business profitable. You'll be surprised how much faster you'll be able to develop your second business when you just plug it into the marketing system that you developed for your first business. This enables you to develop multiple income streams. Warning: Do not attempt to add a second business into your system until your first business is making you a solid monthly income. If you add a second business before you've got a solid marketing system, you dilute your focus prematurely and you'll be back to square one. Your business is like a pipeline. The more prospects and leads you pour in one end, the more sign-ups and customers come out the other. There are no secrets in business. It's a numbers game. Once you've mastered the seven tricks of the trade, you'll find you're well on the way to running your own successful business and making a living online.